Choosing between the newly launched Vivo T3 Ultra and Realme GT60 presents a challenging decision for tech enthusiasts and everyday users alike. Both phones pack high-end features, promising powerful performance and vibrant displays. However, their unique strengths in design, camera quality, battery life, and software experience mean that each device caters to slightly different needs. This comparison will break down the differences and help you decide which phone is the better buy for your lifestyle and preferences. Realme GT 6T The Realme GT 6T has a similarly sized 6.78-inch LTPO AMOLED display, but it uses newer LTPO technology for better power efficiency. With HDR and 120Hz refresh rate, it's also great for smooth scrolling. Its brightness peaks at 6000 nits, which is even higher than that of the Vivo model, which means it handles bright environments even better. The resolution is 1264 by 2780 pixels with a similar 450 pixels per inch density, giving it nearly the same visual sharpness. Differences the Vivo T3 Ultra's Dimensity 9200 Plus chipset is slightly more powerful than the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 in the Realme GT 6T, especially for gaming and multitasking. Vivo T3 Ultra. Vivo's Funtouch OS 14, based on Android 14, offers a clean, customizable interface with various features to enhance user experience. It's feature-rich but retains some bloatware which may not appeal to purists. Realme GT 6T, Realme's UI 5.0, also based on Android 14, is similarly customizable but is generally considered a little more user-friendly with less bloatware than Vivo's Funtouch OS. It includes features like enhanced privacy settings and power efficiency improvements. Similarities. Both phones run on Android 14 with their respective skins offering customization options. Differences. Realme UI 5.0 has a cleaner experience with fewer unnecessary apps. Verdict. Realme GT 6T takes the edge with its cleaner, more intuitive software experience. Vivo T3 Ultra. The Vivo T3 Ultra features a dual camera setup with a 50 megapixels primary camera, with OIS, and an 8 megapixels ultra wide camera. The front camera is an impressive 50 megapixels unit capable of shooting 4K video, which ensures excellent selfies and video calls. Its ring LED flash enhances low light shots. Realme GT 6T. The Realme GT 6T also has a 50 megapixels primary camera with OIS but uses a 32 megapixels selfie camera. The ultra wide camera is similarly 8 megapixels and the GT60 boasts superior video recording options with 1080p at 120fps, adding versatility. Similarities. Both have 50 megapixels primary and 8 megapixels ultra-wide cameras with OIS, and both offer 4K video recording on the main and selfie cameras. Differences. The Realme GT 6T selfie camera is weaker at 32 megapixels compared to the 50 megapixels on the Vivo T3 Ultra, but it offers more video recording modes. Verdict. Vivo T3 Ultra is better for selfie enthusiasts, while Realme GT 6T may appeal to users who need more diverse video options. Both phones come equipped with 5,500 mAh batteries, but the charging technologies differ. Vivo T3 Ultra. It supports ADW wired charging, advertised to fully charge the device in 56 minutes, along with reverse wired charging. Realme GT 6T. This phone takes it a step further with 120W wired charging, allowing it to charge 50% in 10 minutes, making it one of the fastest charging phones on the market.